Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Mariam Teresa Kiramel Mankidian born on the 26th of April 1876 Mariam hailed from a wealthy family in Kerala but the ancestral family was impoverished as her grandfather was compelled to sell his property for marrying off his seven daughters so acutely grave was the financial situation of the family that her father and her brother took to drinking yet hers was a life that was lived in a manner that challenges modern man to live heroically the values of the gospel the third of the five children of thomas and thanda mankidian mariam manifested signs of saintliness very early in life in fact already at the tender age of 10 she had consecrated her virginity to christ the untimely death of a god-fearing mother a devout christian led her at the age of 12 on a long search for a choice of vocation a search which prompted her to renounce home in favor of an ermetical way of life Her zeal for the church drew her and three of her companions to frequently undertake the cleaning of the local church and decoration of the altar while the poor the sick the lonely the orphaned and victims of leprosy and smallpox benefited much from her loving concern Mariam had a special devotion to and an unfailing trust in the holy family whom she saw often in visions and from whom she routinely sought and obtained guidance in her apostolate she prayed much and fasted for the conversion of sinners besides being blessed with the gifts of prophecy and healing an aura of light and sweet order mariam also had the mystical gift of the stigmata which she carefully kept hidden from public view her frequent ecstasies and levitations had her lifted cross like high up on the wall in her room every friday as though to ascertain the depth of her zeal and dedication the lord led her through periods of torments by way of diabolical attacks while she bravely fought temptations against faith and chastity when in the year 1903 mariam approached the ordinary of the diocese mar john menachery for permission to build a house of prayer and solitude his grace wanting to test her vocation advised her instead to consider joining either the franciscan clarists or the carmelites at olur neither of which she felt drawn to It was eventually in the year 1913 that the good bishop acceded to her request. Her dream of having a prayer house finally taking shape, Mariam was able to lead the life she had always aspired to, a life of prayer, penance and austerity which shared by her three companions found expressions in the acts of compassion and charity. cutting across all boundaries acts which the bishop discerned as beneficial to the human family the 14th of may 1914 marked the formal canonical erection of the congregation of the holy family significantly at her perpetual profession sister mariam was appointed the first superior of the new congregation by the bishop having sustained a serious leg injury that refused to heal on account of severe diabetes mother mariam went to a eternal reward on the 8th of june 1926 leaving behind three convents two schools two hostels an orphanage and a band of 55 dedicated sisters to care on a apostolate of love and mercy incidentally The congregation today has about 1584 professed nuns 
serving in Germany, Italy and Ghana, besides Kerala and North India. She was beatified by Pope John Paul II on the 9th of April in the Jubilee year 2000. She was canonized by Pope Francis on the 13th of October 2019.